guys, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. I am coming to you live from my bathroom today. I am going to share with you guys how I shave my face uh, and why and how often. Um, but before we get started, welcome back to my channel. I post a new video here every Friday morning for you. So if you guys would subscribe and hit the bell, that will just alert you when my video is up and live and running. So um, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me any questions or comments for me in the comment section below and I will make sure to respond. So before we get started, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about face shaving. Um, I use these razors. These are the Chic um, Hydra Silk razors. They're like $5 and for a pack of three. And you can get them at Amazon. Target is usually where I just pick them up, um, but Amazon does have them, Target has them. I'm sure it's like Walmart has them and some other major retailers, even maybe Stop and Shop, but um, I usually get them at Target and when I can't, I get them at Amazon. And I always like to have like three on deck. And just so you guys know, when I use these, um, I always throw it away after each use. So like I won't, I'll use this one today and demo for you guys um, how I do it and the steps, but when I'm done with this razor, I will throw it out. Um, it's just like a sanitary thing and you don't want any bacteria that's left on this razor from shaving. Uh, you don't want to keep it and then use it again because then you're probably like putting bacteria back into your face from a previous shave. So it's just better just to like throw it away. It's cheap enough. Um, so yes. I am going to show you how I shave my face. This is me, um, no makeup, nothing. Um, I did just wash my face. So that is always the first step you wanna wash your face. And then um, I go over my face with an astringent. And I always use witch hazel because it's natural. And um, I've told you guys before, but like I have rosacea. If you can see these little like bumps here, this is rosacea. So I just use something like, natural and not harsh at all on my skin and I kind of just stick with what works for me. Um, I use Tula products for like my cleanser and my exfoliant and my 24-7 moisturizer. I'll link all the skincare products that I use with them below. Um, but for an astringent, I've been using Witch Hazel since I went to beauty school when I did like a minor um, little esthetician section of beauty school and they always use this in the facials and I just felt like it was super calming and some astringents that I've used have been like super drying like I feel like I can't even like almost like open my mouth that's how like tight and dry my skin is and then I feel like my skin tries to like overcompensate um, and like produce you know oil and then I break out so this is just like a nice natural cleanser and it does the job and my skin does not feel irritated and super dry. So I'm just gonna go over my skin before we do our shave. Like I said, I, um, I did cleanse my skin before and make sure it's like totally dry. And same with this, um, before you guys shave, you want your skin to be totally dry. So I'll just like fan my skin a little. And when you guys are using these, um, you always want to hold it like at a 45 degree angle and you always want the skin to be taut. Um, you don't want to just kind of like go over it like one huge stroke. You want to use multiple like tiny little strokes and you want to go downwards. I've seen people go up. I don't recommend that. And definitely make sure that your blade is at a 45 degree angle because if you just do it straight down, you can cut yourself. I mean, this is a razor blade. Also to make note, um, doing the nose, that is the trickiest, trickiest part um, of face shaving. And you know, this has the guard on it. So I'm just going to show you. You only really want to go over your nose like twice. Um, and if while I'm filming this, if I'm not looking directly at you, it is because I'm just trying to like really watch what I'm doing on my face. Um, but I'm just gonna be like showing you guys. But um, if you guys have any blackheads on your nose or like, you know, in here, the razor takes them off. Now don't go like getting crazy, like, you know, digging away with these, like that you don't wanna do, but it will um, 
take off those like top surface blackheads, which is really nice. Um, also, um, while my skin's still drying here, I just want to explain that after I shave, I will use like a wet um, washcloth again, and then I will moisturize and I won't put makeup on. Usually I'll do this like towards the end of the night or on a Sunday and I just wanna let my skin breathe. But this is a really, really, really nice like gentle exfoliator if you've done it correctly. And you know, women, we have hair on our face. We have peach fuzz. You guys can't really probably see, but as I shave, I will put a little bit on a um, washcloth or and I will show you guys like all the peach fuzz that I get while doing this. Another thing is people say, oh, if you shave your face, is it just gonna come back thicker and fuller and you're just gonna always have to do it? No. The reason why it looks like it comes back like in full force is because you've just been used to looking at your skin without any peach fuzz. Um, makeup and primer and everything goes on the skin so flawlessly when you get rid of that peach fuzz you just have a much more dewy, glowy look, and that is why I love to shave my face. Um, I also feel like my face products get into my skin better because when you have that like layer of like fuzz, I mean, think about it. It's hard for the products to penetrate into your skin. It's harder for hyaluronic acid to get in there. It's harder for primer and foundation. And I don't know if you guys have seen people that have a lot of peach fuzz and they use a foundation, a liquid foundation. You can almost see that it's like all dry and you can see like the, almost you see the little hairs more because the product is resting on the peach fuzz. So that is why I like to shave my face because I want my skin to look flawless. I'm always aware of my skin. I've always been told that I have really nice skin and I try to take care of it. Um, like I said, once I turned 30, I started getting um, rosacea, which are like these little tiny, tiny little red bumps. Um, so I'm just careful and my skin looks shiny right now because it is totally dry and it has been moist, uh, not moisturized. You don't want to moisturize before you shave, but it has had the astringent on it. So it is ready to go. So when you get your razor out, you just want to like take the little guard off and you know what? I'm going to put my hair up just so we all get like a better view here. It's a nice cute look for you guys today. But we are here to talk face shaving. So I'm gonna start up here, all right? You wanna pull the skin tight and you wanna go down, like I said, in 45 degree angles in tiny, can you guys see this? You see that fuzz? It's like hanging right there. There's definitely, and there's like little peach fuzz on the razor already. That's just from doing this tiny little suction. When you come around here, you wanna be careful because if you get your brows shaped, like I do, I get them waxed once a month, you don't wanna take off any of this. So I just do very, very little here and I like kinda of skip it. Um, you know, and I make sure I do my whole forehead. So like I said, pull this top. Tiny, tiny strokes. See, I'll stop here, but look at you guys. It's so satisfying and it's kind of gross. Um, and I will wipe, I'll wipe it halfway through. Just to keep my razor clean. You guys can almost even see the little pieces falling. All right, so let's go back on this side. at this so satisfying all right now I'm gonna skip these little like I said I just did a little bit over here also going in between here it's tricky because you don't want to um mess up the brow shape so just tiny tiny okay now this is where I get the most peach fuzz right here I'll show you guys This is like a month and that's a lot of peach fuzz you guys this is what's on your face um yeah imagine how much nicer my makeup's gonna go on now 
Okay, I will do a little bit on my neck here. This is pretty, you guys, right? I get like strangely satisfied by doing this because like my skin feels so good afterwards. Let's do this side. So like I said, the nose is the trickiest part to do. I'm just gonna roughly do it, you guys. Just um, It's just the nose and I do um, exfoliate two to three times a week let's get down here <laughs> so, I feel so like, happy after I do this tiny strokes Okay, so that is it. Now, excuse me, I'm just gonna wet my washcloth. Okay, and I'm just gonna like go over my face. That way if there's any little fuzzes left, they come off. This little baby's going in the trash. We are all done with this. And then I'm gonna just let my face air dry. I'm gonna use um, my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer once this dries all over my face. Um, because this is an exfoliant, so you want to make sure you're replenishing your skin with moisture after you shave. I usually use about like this much amount. You guys, your skin is going to be thirsty after that, so. It feels so smooth. And like I said, the day that I do this, I usually do this at night after I shower, wash and tone my face. I'll do it and leave it makeup free. Or if I do it like during the day, on a day off or a Sunday, I will not use makeup that day. I will just moisturize and just let my skin absorb all the good things so that is all today i hope you guys found this helpful i've gotten a lot of questions about face shaving and i've been doing it for years so i just wanted to show you like how i do it why i like doing it and it's not scary and you know i like the throwaway razors i'll link a few for you below in the description box and i will link these the witch hazel the tula products that i use and the kills ultra facial moisturizer so Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys here next Friday with another video. You can follow me on Instagram. My name is Amanda J. May and I'm also on Like to Know It, which is a free shopping app. It's so much fun. My name is Amanda May and yeah, I will see you guys next week and happy face shaving.